Good day everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Chegudero and today we shall continue on Unit 7 Growing Up. For your information, this is the first lesson which will be on page 72 and 73 on your student's book. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to describe people. As usual, before we proceed to our lesson today, let me communicate with you first the framework of our lesson. First, we shall get to know some words that can be used to describe people physically. And after that, we shall watch and listen to a video and guess which photos the people are talking about. Last but not least, we shall match the descriptive sentences to the correct famous people together. Without further ado, let us move on to the first activity of our lesson today, which is to learn words to describe people. From the aspect of height and build, take a look at the first picture. What is the best word that we can use to describe the height of this person? It's short. Meanwhile, for the person in the middle one, we can use the word average height to describe his height. And of course, to the person at the most right position, we can use the word tall to describe his height. Apart from that, from the aspect of build, we can see that there are three different figures here. Figure in blue, we can describe it as slim, whereby for figure in green, we can use the word average build to describe the figure and also his shape. Last but not least, for the figure in yellow, we can see that in terms of shape and size, it is slightly bigger compared to the average build and slim build. So, the proper word that we can use to describe this figure is overweight. Apart from height and build, there are also other aspects that we can describe. For example, hair fashion and color. What are the words that we can use to describe hair fashion? For example, long, short, curly, spiky, straight, bald if you have no hair. And for hair colors, there are only a few being covered in this lesson. For example, black, gray, dark brown, light brown, red, and also blonde. Bear in mind that not all hair colors are born to be natural. Moving on, we can also describe people from the aspect of face and eyes. There are a few words that we can use to describe the face of a person. For example, round, square, and also thin. If we look at these three pictures, bear in mind that please do not misunderstand that round face is only for an overweight or obese person. A person who has a slim figure can have a round face as well. Therefore, round face is not necessarily targeted on obese and overweight person. Moving on, you might be questioning, how can I differentiate between a person who has a square face and also thin face? If you look from these two photos, we can see that the girl with thin face, she slightly has a more prominent jawline pointing downwards to the direction of her chin. And therefore, we can describe this as thin face. How about for square face? If we look at the square face, we can see that she also has the jawline. However, the jawline is wider as compared to the girl with thin face. Besides, there are also different types of eyes. And what are the words that we can use to describe the eyes? There are blue, brown, green, and also gray. So these are the four eye colors that we are going to cover in our lesson today. Other features include glasses, beard, sunglasses, and also mustache. Now, question. Based on the words to describe a person's physical appearance, how does the person in this photo look like? From the aspect of height and build, how can we describe him? He's tall and has an average build. In terms of hair, we can see that he has no hair. Therefore, we can describe him as he is bald. Looking at his face and eyes, obviously, 
his eyes are black, and his face is thin because his jaw lines are pointing towards his chin. So the best word we can use to describe is he has a thin face and black eyes. Other features that we can see on his face are he has a moustache and a beard. Now let's move on to the second activity of our lesson today which is to watch and listen and then you are going to guess who are being mentioned in the video. Now let's take a look first at the choices of these answers. Right in front of your screen here, you will see eight different photos. And these eight people that you see here, they are celebrities and also sports stars. But I'm not going to reveal to you first the names of the public figures here, because after this, you are going to watch and listen to a video and we shall identify which three pictures are being described in the video. Are you ready? Let's watch the video. Look at the photo. Who do you think this person is? Is it a famous person? Yes, it is. A famous person when they were a young child. Well, it's a boy. He's got big brown eyes. Yes, and a round face. I'm not sure. I don't think he's an actor I know. I think he's a footballer. So a footballer with curly brown hair. Yes, but maybe he hasn't got curly hair now. I know. I think it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Look at the photo. Who do you think this person is? I'm not sure. Is it a famous person? Yes, it is. OK. Well, I can see it's a girl and she's got short hair. I can give you a clue. She hasn't got short hair now. Is she a singer? No, she isn't. Try again. She's an American actor. In that case, it's Kristen Stewart. Look at the photo. Who do you think this person is? Hmm. I'm not sure. Is it a famous person? Yes, she's a famous singer. Is it Lord? She's got dark brown hair. No, it isn't. These days, this singer often changes her hair colour and wears weird clothes. Well, in that case, I think it's Lady Gaga. Alright, so that's the end of the video. Now let's get back to these eight photos again. Which three of these photos are being described in the video just now. From A until H, we are going to select three photos only. Now, which photo is being mentioned at the very first place of the video? It was mentioned that it has curly hair and short. So obviously, the only person that has short and curly hair here is photo F. Next, Moving on, the second picture that was described, it was describing that the girl has a short hair and it was straight and then she is an American actor. So as you can see here, the one that was being mentioned is photo G. Maybe you don't really recognize who are they, but after this, you shall know all of them better because I'm going to reveal them each one by one, the true identity of them. And last but not least, the last being described was photo B. So did you manage to get all of this correct? If so, congratulations. But if you don't manage to get it correct, it's okay. Because what we are learning today here could be not really much related to the culture of our country. So it's okay because after this, I'm going to make this lesson a lot easier. Now. Before we proceed to the next activity, bear in mind that there are key phrases that you can use to guess the answer. 
Based on the video that we have listened just now, the key phrases that were highlighted are I think it's It means saya rasa ia adalah I'm not sure It means saya tidak pasti I don't think it's Saya tidak fikir ia adalah Maybe or perhaps is Mungkin ia adalah I'm sure it's Saya pasti ia adalah So these are the key phrases that you can use Whenever you are guessing for an answer Now let's move on to the last activity of our lesson today Which is to make a guess How are you going to guess? You are going to match sentences to the correct famous people Now let's try to read the sentences at your left first and then you are going to match to the correct pictures according to the description that you have read in the sentence Take a look at number one As a child, this singer had straight hair Now, her hair looks very different Looking at these photos, there is only one child is a girl and she has a straight hair and you can see that now her hair looks very different and it looks pretty weird to me as well therefore the sentence best describes lady gaga can you imagine this is her during the childhood next sentence in films this actor has sometimes got blue skin and green eyes obviously there is only one picture with blue skin and green eyes the answer is sam worthington number three this actor has sometimes got a mustache in films in real life he's also got glasses so this answer is johnny depp because he's the only one that wears glasses in real life based on the choices of answers here number four who is this cute little boy with round face and big brown eyes definitely it goes to cristiano ronaldo next the film star is bald now but he had a long hair and beard in this film which film star is bald obviously it's dwayne johnson number two this singer had short black hair when she was young but now it's long and blonde which singer had short black hair and then she has long and blonde after that it's madonna Number three, this actress was in her first film at the age of 11 when she had short, light, brown hair. The only girl that has short, light, brown hair when she was still at the age of 11, obviously, it's Kristen Stewart. Moving on to the last one, this actress had amazing curly red hair in 2003, but now it's straight and blonde. Obviously, the last answer should go to Nicole Kidman. So did you manage to get all the answers correct? I bet if you don't even know these public figures, the descriptions are strong enough to describe what you have seen in the photos. So that's the end of our lesson today. This is the Google Form exercise that I have prepared for you. Feel free to just scan at the QR code or click on the link that I have prepared in the video description below. If you're a teacher and you would like to make a copy of this Google Form exercise, feel free to just scan at the QR code right in front of your screen or click on the link that I have provided in the video description below as well. As usual, don't forget to visit my Facebook page Chegudero and give a like if possible. Subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell so that you will get notified whenever I update my playlist. With that, I'd like to thank you for watching and I shall see you at the next video. Bye!